And the way I was doing it before was pretty stupid. I said you need to put in through the top, through the back, through the bottom, which is true, but only about the one that assembles the full processor. And for some reason that it slipped my mind. What's up, people? I'm Zogue, and welcome to my world. We're here, we're doing things, and I've made a lot of progress. I kind of did a little bit of stuff off camera just because doing what I'm doing, like, with you all the time, sometimes you need a little bit of boost to progress because we just weren't really getting all the way there. Uh, and episode by episode, I like to bring you guys along for everything, but... Progress kind of suffers when you do that a little bit. So I, I did a little bit of the repetitive stuff. Like I added a second carpenter for the next recipe of the basic circuit. I rerouted the water to go underneath. You see this guy right there. So now it's going into all these guys. Eventually this is this is going to be an in and out scenario. I don't know why I have an extra water drum. Not entirely sure. Uh, but now we have spare water. We ever need water. We can just come and grab a water bucket right from this tank and we'll be good. We won't have to go all the way back there. It'll be fine. Might eventually move this up to the front a little more, but like I said, this whole area over here is temporary, so it's not a big deal where it's placed and all that stuff. I did add in the other metal formers as well, so now we have one of each type, one of each mode. I didn't put the recipe in for the copper wire just yet because we still need to find a way to get the rubber too, so doing the copper wire is fine, but... Eh, it really didn't help much and we were working on the alloy smelter That's what we were trying to get to so I've added a few more recipes in one of which is the basic machine frame I added this one in here to get the basic circuit board and those are for the alloy smelter right in here for the basic machine frame right here We have the basic circuit board. I also added one in for the tin gear as well We already had the iron chipset so now we can automate these guys we can automate these guys, but we don't have uh, we'll eventually need to be able to get the signalum nuggets, the redstone chipsets, and the lapis electron tube. So we'll have to make all of those manually when we actually need them. Now the, the signalum is about to be done soon, but it's not done yet because I need to get the alloy smelter hooked up and actually have that down and over here with this stuff. Which I guess I'm going to go one more over. I need to... <laughs> I'm going to have to set up a second set. Actually, you know what we could do? Uh, no, that would cause problems, I think. Unless we wanted to duplicate the machines, we could put another, you know, compressor on the back of this, and, a, you know, three more metal formers over here, basically to double productivity, but we're not going to be doing that. I'll have another row in here, probably, is more likely what I'm going to do, and leave a little bit of a space so I can still click on the front, fra front face some way, and that way we can compact it down a little bit, get a little bit more stuff in here, and nothing will really be a big deal. Now... I have the recipe for all of this stuff. Uh, there are some holes, but this is this is all the stuff that you need to have in order just to auto craft the the alloy smelter. Like, there's a lot of crap in here that is the this is just it's crazy. It's so crazy, but we should be able to make an alloy smelter now. Uh, oh right, um, I didn't actually make the recipe yet. This is the recipe. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the other recipe. This is for this guy, which I think I got. Did I get you in here? I think I completed you. Yeah, 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 I did. Okay, so we can clear you out of here now. Uh, we should be able to go in and do this. Almost. What are we missing? We're missing... Oh, the induction furnace. I do have the recipe for that as well. Uh, induction... Nope. Induction... Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Go. Now it's done. Now we can go back in here. Get our induction furnace right like that, and then create that pattern. Now we have the pattern for the alloy smelter. We can throw this down in here because this is a regular crafting recipe. But like I said, there are holes in this, in this thing. Like for example, the let's see, the basic capacitor is already told you. We don't have the recipes for the redstone chipsets or the signalum in order to get the signalum nuggets or the lapis electron tubes. We need all of those, or the lumium ingots. Um. We do, we do, we do, we do. Okay, all of that stuff is automated already. So we need basically the the uh, the metals really are, are the big things. Um, I do have all of this stuff. Bronze we're also going to need to get as well. We're going to need to autocraft bronze. But that all of that stuff can be done in the alloy smelter, which I, I prefer getting metals and stuff that way for, for that. But this is all in an attempt to get... Uh, 
Enderium. That's what it is. Enderium. That's why we started down the path of the alloy smelter, because the alloy smelter can get Enderium a lot easier than, like, from a Tinker Smeltery. And eventually we're going to supercharge this and have, like, 50 alloy smelters all making us metal whenever we need it and all that good stuff. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. Also, I reconfigured this guy because somebody in the comments, I'm sorry, dude, I don't remember who it was, but somebody, a very awesome person, told me about this little trick here. Now, I wouldn't really call it a trick. It's just kind of using a vanilla thing. Now, it is a vanilla thing. I don't like to use vanilla, but it does work. It is a very, very effective. Uh, and what you can do is have the interface here and a hopper. Now, the hopper has to be pointed into the side of this guy. It cannot be put on top like our open crate was. The open crate will drop it directly on top, and it will work that way. But the hopper works better because there's no... You know, the items aren't dropped. They're just instantly placed down right here as soon as they can be. Uh, which is actually really, really good because if the open crate just drops everything that's put into it, if I say, say I need four bronze gears, this is actually an example that I already used. Let's say I needed four bronze gears, right? Let's go ahead and do this. Bronze, we have four. Let's say we wanted four more. Go. What's going to happen with the old way, the open crate? It's going to drop all 16 ingots down on the ground here. All 16 of the ingots will be dropped at one time. Whereas the hopper will wait until this guy is processed. I tried to craft four with the open crate and it only crafted one because all 16 got dropped. I don't know where the other iron went. It might have just sat on top and then got sucked up by this guy and went back into my system. But I can't, I can't deal with auto crafting one at a time. Now right now our, our situation is a little bit slim here. We only have like the five slots, which is quite a bit of gears. I don't think we're ever going to go that far. But if we ever need to expand this a little bit, and I probably will do this at some point. I'll, uh, I'll just throw a chest in the middle. So the interface will be attached to a chest that can hold a huge amount of items. And then the hopper will just take directly from that chest and then input it into this guy, which will work just fine. That's not going to be a big deal. That won't be a problem at all. Uh, and that'll work out. Now... Explanation is done of what was already done. Now I can make an alloy smelter. Wow. Yeah, all of this is needed to make one. We can do it. <laughs> we have all of the recipes for it. We need cobblestone? What the heck do we need cobblestone? I don't know, and I don't have to care anymore because I can just go boop, and now it's making everything. Um, oh, that's right. You're compressing down into do the furnace in order to make the other things to do all the other stuff and do do boop, done. So now we have an alloy smelter which is absolutely perfect. I also went through and I made a bunch more interfaces so we could actually get this thing hooked up and actually start putting some stuff into it. Now, this one right here is going to be put on the end. Uh, what do I need? I need... Ooh, hmm. I need a conduit. I think that might actually be it. Just, just one conduit. If we hook that up, that should get there. That should be able to... Yeah, I think that's actually it. Oh, that's the other thing. We need to give it power. Uh, also, we're going to have to settle our power problem. The more machines we add and the bigger projects we do, we'll use more of those machines. Like we, if, if we auto-craft a huge project, it will need most of these machines in order to process. We'll definitely need the sag mill, induction smelters, and maybe metal forber is a probably, maybe even this guy at some point, and the compressor. So if all of these machines are taking power, that's a huge draw coming from LV connectors. So it's probably not going to be able to keep up. Like it will eventually process through, but it will it will cause problems. And we don't want to cause problems. We don't like causing problems. Uh, we're gonna break this. Oh, my magnet's not on. Okay, well I lost one of the jungle blocks, but that's fine. Let's put you right there. Let's put you right here. Turn on hover mode, go down and around, do do this little scenario like a so. Bloop. Uh, we need to set this actually to output downward. I do remember this. Uh, actually, I don't think we do. Push downward. We're going to do it anyway. And then we'll go here, extract, always. Now we can go up top, put on the LV connector. Like a sue. Blink, blink. Now it's getting power. It's getting power very slowly, but, but it's getting power. Uh, and what we can do is now start setting up some... Uh, recipes for this. Now, I do want to speed this up as well. This guy needs a, a better capacitor, and the other one does as well. But now that we have the alloy smelter, we can start processing. Whoa! We, stupid hover mode! It happens every friggin' time. That's why I need a better light source than these guys. Maybe I'll put them somewhere else. If I move... Yeah, actually, if I do this, let's see. 
Give me... Oh, oh, oh. Too fast. Too fast. Way too fast. Put you back. Shift. Bam. Okay. If we put these, like, here... Is that enough to get rid of all of the, the spots? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's good. All right. So now, hopefully, I won't, like, glitch over it like that anymore. But we'll, we'll have to see. Anyway, so... What we want to do is go ahead and make some of these alloys. The alloys in themselves. Now, Enderium is the first one. That's the one we've wanted. I actually have the Enderium base already crafted. Like, this is auto-crafted. Oh, I thought it was. It wasn't. Oh, I still need to set that recipe up. Because I, I needed to get this set up, but I didn't actually do it. Uh, R. You are tin, two tin, one silver, and one shiny. Okay. So, tin... Two tin, silver, and a shiny. That was right, right? I got that right? I'm pretty sure I did. Two tin, a silver, and a shiny. R. Two tin, silver. Okay, good. Good, good. Now we change this to here, and we go blink like that, like that, and like that. And that gives us... Ooh, does it give us four? I think it gives us four. It does give us four. Perfect. So good. That gives us four. Do that recipe. There's our four. There's, so there's that recipe. Now, the Enderium on its own. Enderium. This guy requires the base. Some Pyrothium dust, which I do believe I have auto-crafted already. Pyrothium. Whoa. Py there we go. Bam. Yes, I can. I can auto-craft those guys without a problem. Uh, it'll take a little while because it does have to process some stuff in the sag mill in order to get the pulverized coal or whatever. But... That'll be fine. It'll, it'll get there eventually. And we do have enough to auto-craft that. So we can clear you out of here. Enderium is... Uh, two Enderium base. One Pyrothium and two Ender Pearls. All of which we have. We can get those guys going. So the Enderium base... That's not how you spell base, Zog. Figure it out, buddy. Figure it out. Ender Pearls. One, two. And... One thing of pyrothium dust. Just like that. And that gives us... Oh, crap -o. I need to... Actually, do I have any Enderium already in here? Do I have any? Oh, yes. We get two, right? It was two? That was what the recipe gives? Go over, over. Two! Yes! Two Enderium. Okay, there's that. Bink! Just like so. Oh, wait. Finish the recipe. Finish it. And now here is this. Both of these are alloy smelter ones. Now, we're going to run out of room in the alloy smelter for sure. That's why I'm kind of... Uh, prioritizing the metals that I want to get, like Enderium, we'll do Signalum, we'll do Lumium, uh, some of those like that. I should actually go ahead and do the Signalum as well. I don't really want, like, a whole, another auto-crafting episode. Like, this, I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over again. But this is what we're working on. Like, this is what we're doing. We want to auto-craft this stuff so we can actually get things going. And I want to be able to auto-craft the inscribers maybe i'll go i'll go ahead and finish this off because i don't want to do this for a whole nother friggin episode of just auto crafting things i'm going to get everything auto crafted in here uh including the signalum so that we can get signalum i'm not going to bring down the uh the thing whoa uh, i forget what they're called the lapis electron tubes why are you not showing up here oh there you are this guy right here because we need to the thermionic fabricator that's what it's called I'm not going to bring this guy down here yet, um, because I want to be able to bring my sand down here first as well, have everything sent into that, uh, which I'm going to end up hooking up at some point, but not, not yet, not yet. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to do the signalum and maybe the redstone. How, how difficult is it to make an assembly table? I spelled that wrong. Assembly table. Here we go. It's not too incredibly difficult. Can we make a diamond gear? No, but we can make a gold gear. Whoa, what? Oh, there we go. There we go. Four gold. So we can do another one of those. So we get the gold gear. We can auto craft that as well. So I'll go ahead and auto craft all this stuff. Uh, probably diamond gear. I'll need the diamond gear for something else. I probably won't auto craft this just because we're only going to need the two. We might need like three or four of them, but really we're not going to need a huge number of them. That's for sure. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff auto craft. I'm going to get everything prepped. And then I'll see you back when we're ready to do some inscriber stuff. Because that's the end goal. We want the inscribers. That's the end goal of everything. That we're doing right now, at least. I was going to bring you back, like, after 
I had the inscriber stuff, but this is an interesting little thing that I need to, uh, I need to figure this out exactly. Okay, so what I've done so far is kind of, <laughs> I made things work. It's what I do, but I made, I did move the water drum so that this guy could easily get water. And then I have the interface down here that will accept, eventually it'll have a pattern for these guys to turn this into the coolant because you have the fluid enriched and that'll go into this tank right here, which will then go over into here and then bottle it. But the problem is if I'm going to request the coolant cells, I need my pattern to say that one empty cell and eight lapis lazuli dust equals one coolant cell. That, that's what my pattern has to say. But the problem is when I do that, the lapis lazuli dust has to go into here and the coolant cell has to go into here. So it needs to be split. Now, I can you do this with a chest and put the interface on a chest and then split them. But I want to test what exactly will happen if I make two patterns for the same item. This is what I want to know. Uh, so what I got to do is actually, I need, I have you guys and I have you guys, but I need to get, actually, I already have the coolant cell, don't I? I do actually a coolant. Yeah, I've already got one. So one of you goes here. So this is going to be one. This will be number one, make that pattern. And then we're going to do this again, but instead an empty cell makes a coolant cell. So you. So now, will it do both recipes? This is something I've never done before. I've always just thrown it into a chest and then use filters to separate them out when I need to. This one right here needs the lapis lazuli dust. Uh, yeah, this one right here, the second one. Let's go into here, this one, right? Eight lapis, yeah, one cool itself, right there, just like that. And then I go into this side to put in this one, which is the empty cell. Now, in theory, this should work. And I can pipe the items back down into the interface and all that other good stuff. I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to see if it works. So now if I go and request one of these guys, what will happen? Coolant. Only one of them still shows up. So make one. That, I think, is only going to put the one in here. It's not going to give this. It didn't put the lazuli dust into here. That's unfortunate. But if I put like something else, don't, ah oh, man, crapo. It doesn't have power on it either. Dang it. I, I keep accidentally switching the tanks around. It doesn't have power. That's why it's not actually filling anything right now. Ah, uh, so that's not going to work. We have to use a chest apparently. I don't want to use a chest though. I really don't. Now, I could kind of keep a stash of the coolant and just have it piped into here and then leave this pattern alone. But I don't want to have to do that either. This is a bummer. This should have like a multi-pattern thing. Maybe if I add like uh, a sub-module or, or one of those deals, maybe that will work. Um, crafting. There's a crafting storage U. Co-processing unit. This guy right here. Do we have any of that stuff? We don't have either of them. Of course we don't have either of them. Can we make one? No, we can't. Okay, well, I'm going to try to work on getting one of those guys just to see if the co-processing will actually help. Um, now, it's going to help with other projects too. It's not just for this, but this it's definitely going to help if we can actually get the... Why do you have water here? Why? Why, oh, why, oh, why? The water needs to go elsewhere. What in the world? Come on, man. Sheesh, and you're already full... Dang it. Um, I'll tell you what I can do. Uh, eh. yeah, I can do this. That should drain it. Hopefully completely. This thing holds, yeah, it holds 8,000 total, so that's fine. This, this transfer node will be able to grab it. That won't be a big deal. Empty out. Thank you. And then we'll break it again. And then we'll place it back down again. Now there's no water for it to grab, and it should continue just to grab the coolant, which is fine. I don't know why the cr Oh, that's what. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I keep accidentally switching the tanks and it's really, really dumb. Stop it. Stop doing that. Self? Self is stupid. Okay. Nope, we're good. We're good again. I think, I think we're okay again. Do that. Now fill back up. Don't click here. Don't click here. This switches the tanks around. 
Now that we have all of this stuff done, it's kind of a crazy process. It really is, because we have everything sent into this chest and then separated out. The lapis goes into here, goes into this guy. We do have a, a buffer here, which seems... Oh, okay, there's the 8,000 and this guy's still full, so we're, we, we still have plenty. We got plenty. We can manually craft some as well if, uh, if we want to drain that out and eventually streamline it to go directly into it and save ourselves a transfer node. I know that it's a little bit meh. But right now, I don't know. It's just kind of how it is. It can be fixed up, but it's not a big deal that it's like that right now. So we're not going to worry about it. But we do have the pattern now. If we take a look, we have the overclockers. We have the machine frames. We have the sticky pistons and the regular pistons. We have the iron. We have pure certus quartz, but we don't have it auto-crafted. This is the only thing in here that we don't have auto-crafted. Now that we have a lot of other things that are not auto-crafted. But the, by doing this... Like so, we can go in here and request inscribers, and we, we, uh, that's not how you spell inscriber. I keep doing that. Why do I do that all the time? We can go in here and request them, and we want, we have one, we need five total, so we need four more, and this tells us everything that we would need, but we actually have everything that we need. We have all of it. I thought we were going to need something, but we don't, and we can just go ahead and start this guy, and we can watch it go. Wow, that was really quick. I didn't think it would go that quick, but now we have... A bunch of inscribers. Inscri yep, there we go. Four more. So what we're going to do is go ahead and grab out some dense cable as well. And we're also going to grab out some smart cable as well. Bam. So we have a full stack of both of those. And what I want to do is go ahead. We're going to bring a dense cable out from here. Whoa. Thank you. I'm so glad my magnet's still on because I didn't remember to do that. Uh, and we're going to go, actually, I'm going to shorten this by one. Now, the reason I'm bringing a dense cable is because we are going to need a lot of uh, things to be set up over here in order to get these guys auto-crafted. It takes a lot of things. All the things. But before we do that, actually, I want to go ahead and break uh, this guy down because we don't need this anymore. And that's the only reason for this line right here. So we're going to break this guy down. Like this. I don't need to break it all the way down, but I am. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and go up with our smart cable right here. Now, this is for now, and that way we can start laying out our inscribers. Now, the thing about the inscribers is that they share power. Uh, they, 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 shower, they share power, and they don't require any in or out by themselves. Okay? They don't, they don't require any channels on their own. So that's why that isn't really big. Actually, you know what we could do? We could send it right into the side with this guy. Just like that. Can we put in? We can put in through here. We can put in through the back once this guy's gone. And we can put in through the bottom. But can we take out? I don't think we can extract. Because we need to extract as well, which is a problem. This is, <laughs> this is one reason I'm not a huge fan of automating it. Like, I, I'm a huge fan of automating everything. Automation is great. So trains are a thing. You guys know this by now, I'm sure. But, it's background noise for anybody new to the channel. There's, I live by train tracks. It's terrible, I hate it. But, what I was trying to say is that these guys are difficult to automate because you have to put in to the top if you want the top slot to be filled. You have to put in through the side or the back if you want the middle slot to be filled. And you have to put in through the bottom if you want the bottom slot. And you have to take out from a side if you want to take this guy out. Which is... It's kind of a big deal, you know? It's kind of a problem like that. <laughs> so, it's just... It's one of those deals. This is this is one of those things that requires a bigger setup. And I'm trying to jam it in here. And I'm trying to figure out a design that works. Um, and it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Because, I mean, you can, like, stagger these guys. And what I mean by that is if we take this guy and put him here, we can get rid of this one. And you can do something like this. Because then you can take out of every side. And you can have it. I think maybe that's what we'll do. Sort of. Let me see if I can actually do this how I want to do this. If we if we go diagonal like this, we should be able to do everything that we need to do. I need a different thing. Here, let's try this. Um, and no, give me you. We'll just kind of do that for now. We'll go like this. 
And then we need to break all these guys down. I don't think there's anything in these chests. We can get our conduits back. We can get our inscriber back. And this guy back. And this guy back. Uh, nope. Do what one. Yeah, that one. There we go. All right. Give me all of the things. All right. So with this, we can do temporarily. We do this. And we can do something like this. Okay, so with this kind of a design, we can do what we need to do. We can inject into the back, uh, give power, but we would have to give power to all of them through probably the back, I'm thinking. So we can put into the top, we can put into the side, we can put into the bottom, we can take out of this side. And uh, yeah, I think that should work because these cables... Even, it's like, say, for example, if I were to take out from this side right here, if I were to put an import pipe or import bus right here on the side of this, it would still go into the system. Um, it doesn't have to be connected like that. Like, it doesn't have to be directly connected to a cable or a controller or anything like that. It, as long as it goes into a pipe, it's considered, at you know, that's part of the network that still has your storage on it, then it will still work. It'll still process everything. Everything should be good to go. I feel like we're somehow freeing up space in here, and I don't know how that's happening. Hopefully, I'm not, like, losing stuff or something, which really wouldn't be very good. Stop it, Hover. You. You. It's your fault, you stupid glowstone nook. Don't be a dummy. But I think uh, I think that will do, but we will have to power these things from the back. So let's get our dense cable. Um, and if we go... Hmm... I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this because if we go over one more with a dense cable bloop and then we can go up here go over and go over and basically go over all the way and then we can go up here and up here then that will work and we get rid of this cable then everything gets power everything is then power whoa yeah. I didn't almost fall my death it's fine don't worry about it don't worry about it we're good we're fine Everything's just peachy. Uh, so we need to go ahead. <laughs> um, <sighs> see, this is uh, this is a problem. Um, I don't know exactly how to get this to work. Not like this anyway. I'm trying to think of a different design. One that I haven't really seen before. We don't need you guys here. Get out of there. And get out of there. Okay. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and put in the recipes. Now, this is the design that I've chosen. It's uh, it's actually kind of standard. I didn't want it to be standard. I was trying to think of a different way. And the way I was doing it before was pretty stupid. I said you need to put in through the top, through the back, through the bottom, which is true, but only about the one that assembles the full processor. And for some reason, that it slipped my mind. The only place you have to insert with the rest of them that use the presses is through one of the sides. And that's the thing. Now, the other part of this is that I'm going to try to take out from the bottom. I don't know if that's a possibility or not, but we're going to give it a shot. But we do need to make these recipes. And the way we're going to do that is to go ahead. We need to switch this to a processing pattern. We need to make one of these guys. Is it going to import it? This is the question. We can speed them up later with acceleration cards, but I want to see if it does take it out of there and send it into the system. It does not look like it is. Doesn't look like that's a thing. That sucks pretty badly, actually. Um, dang it. Crapo. Uh, so this has to be reconfigured. <laughs> Man, this is, I'm not very happy about that. I'm really not. It is using one channel, so you see that those guys are indeed, you know, being connected and all that good stuff. Uh, they are import buses. Yeah, they, they do, they are importing into the system. That's what we want. Crapo, crapo. Why is it so stupid? Like, why is it so particular? AE2, I, AE2 mod creator, I love your mod. It's absolutely fantastic. But this thing right here, this inscriber, is the biggest pain in the bum <laughs> in the entire mod. It's pretty stupid. I think, I understand that you wanted people to go through it and do some stuff, but you gotta, 
you gotta chill out on the forcing people to do things a very, very specific way because it's it's not very good. Anyway, so we do need to make the patterns. I'll end up fixing this up. It's just gonna be reconfigured. I'll do that in a little bit. But we do need to make these guys. So now that we have this, we can do that. We can go to this guy and make one of these. And now here, we need a pure Certus Quartz Crystal, which is a little bit of a problem because we don't currently have a way to get those because we took off these guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and place these guys right here along the sides so that we can actually grow them again and you'll see how we're going to connect them up which shouldn't be too hard to tell some of you will already be able to guess it but uh, we do need to break these guys down this guy this guy now this is going to be a little bit of a meh on there but we can put covers or something on it and won't be too big of a deal we have our hover good now we get our blue light blue you we'll go ahead and blink oh no that's wrong break thank you regular one there we go and then there now it's connected because these guys only require power they don't require anything else so that means there are no channels extra channels being used so nothing is going to be turned off they're just power and therefore it doesn't really matter too much how uh you know what kind of pipe they're connected to as long as it's connected to the system that has power it will work it will work just fine so that works there and we can go ahead and uh, just drop our seeds in here as soon as we turn off our magnete this will be a little bit more manual too of course later on it'll be it'll be uh sped up quite a bit but in automated that's the word i was looking for it'll be automated later uh, maybe even through the same the, the use of the same system which i really i could do now but this whole thing is going to change all of this over here is temporary just like everything over there is temporary everything is temporary I want to keep, I want to try to get back into the design side of things, but meh, I just don't feel, meh. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead and put this in here like this. Go ahead and get this recipe. Then we're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of all of you. We're going to put you in here and a diamond just like this. And we put you guys away. Go ahead and make that pattern. Put you away. Then we need to do the silicon, which means I need to go put one in here real quick. Boop, uh, boop. There we go. We can put the rest of this away and the rest of you away. All right. So now that we have one of each of those, well, most of them anyway, except for the one with the pure Certus Crits stuff. Uh, nope, that's wrong. Here. There we go. Bam. Now we do that, and then we have that pattern as well. So we can go ahead and here, which one is gold? This one's gold. This one is diamond. And this far one is the silicon. So that way we can do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we can just wait for our crystals to grow. Whoa, just got spun around too quick. Wasn't sure what it was. Are you done? You're almost done. I know you're close, but I don't think you're quite there yet. You've got a little bit more to go. I still see the particles down there. Are you done now? No? Still, still not? Can you finish quickly, please? I'm trying to do a thing. Can you be done? Can, can you finish? Uh, pretty please? Oh, I thought you'd be done really quick. Come on. Don't make me wrong. I'm already wrong. I've already sat here too long. There we go. Thank you. I knew it's the second I was about to turn around too. The second I turned around, it would have, it would have finished. And now it would have been, you know, wasting more time. But anyway, now that we have these guys, we can go ahead and make the next pattern, which is clear you. One of you equals... One of you, uh, bloop, just like this, uh, nope, just like this, and blink, just like that, and then we get this, and then we go to here, and then we go over here, and we go like this. Okay, so, now we have all this stuff, whoa! Now, through the side, this isn't a problem. This is no prop. whoa! Oh my goodness, stupid hover, stop it! Redstone, we need a piece of redstone. We need the silicon, just one of those as well. Now, the top part is the problem. If we do a uh, circuit, I think, yeah. Each of these guys, one, one, and one, just like that. So, this side, no problem because we can export directly into it and it'll, ju it'll just go ahead and populate that forever. That's not a problem. It's not going to take too much of out of our system because it can only put one in the slot. And even if it couldn't, a full stack is still not going to bankrupt me with redstone. So that's not a problem. Uh, we can have that endlessly export that stuff. These guys can be endlessly exported as well. And these guys can also be endlessly exported. But the problem is that 
I need to put more than just the one in this top bit here. Uh, oh, I need the import bus on this too. Import. There we go. Now that'll work too. Connect up. Connect up. There it is. And now once it closes, which it's... Are you out of power or something? Why'd you stop? Oh, you don't have power. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. I see. I see. I see you, you stupid. The reason that we don't have power right now is because... These guys don't provide power. Those are data only transmissions right there. So it didn't have any power. And now that that just got sucked into the system, we have a logic processor. But the problem is that we need an expansion card. We need a, a capacity card, I think is what it's called. We need to get these guys, which means we need one calculation processor. So if we go in here, we can eventually make the patterns. Uh, really, we don't need to do that. We need to say that, um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna set this up. We, <laughs> I need, uh, uh, I need a calculation. So I need one more of those. Anyway, I'll, I'll end up setting that up, but basically we need to put a capacity card in here so that I can put the other two into this guy and that way they will forever be exported. And then we can put patterns in our system to say that, um, you know, one of the, for example, the calculation, uh, processors requires one of these and a printed silicon. We can say the engineering requires one of these and a printed silicon. And that way, those guys, those recipes will be sent into here and then be sucked into the system after these are reconfigured. And then it'll automatically export them without any problem right into this guy. And it'll, they'll all be processed directly from our system, which I like the idea of. It's just totally direct. It's just directly there. It's good. But anyway, that's, uh, that's about all the time I have left for this episode. I will go ahead and get all this situated and stuff in between episodes. Hopefully I'll do it now, but it might not be now. It might be in a little bit and I might not get to it. But anyway, if you did like the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more, you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe, comment, favor, share, if you feel like you want to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps.